This is one of my year seven favourites, pizza toast. Here I'm going to use a part baked baguette, but you could use literally any bread at all. A sliced bread, naan bread, crumpet, tortilla. You need a different kind of knife to cut bread with. As you can see, this knife has got little teeth on it. This is so that it acts like a saw to cut through the bread. I want to try and cut through the bread so it's exactly halfway through. If the bread is too long to cut lengthways, cut it in half first and then cut. If you listen carefully, you'll be able to hear the sawing noise. Keep your fingers in a claw, holding the bread firmly and saw down. There, I haven't done too bad. Can you hear the sawing noise? If you used a normal knife, it would just squash the bread down. You then want to pop your bread onto a baking tray before you put the toppings on. Here I have some cheese, onion, mushroom, diced tomato, ham and some passata. You could literally put anything on top of these pizza toasts. I'm going to use a spoon to spread my sauce. Let's have a think what else we could use instead. So I'm going to place some sauce and then carefully spread it with the back of a spoon. I could also use things like pesto, garlic butter, barbecue sauce. Maybe you could think of some more. So my bread has the tomato sauce on it now. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of cheese on each one before I put my toppings on because this will help everything glue to the bread. Just put them together, it will stop them from rolling. I'm then going to sprinkle some toppings. Try and make sure you sprinkle them evenly so that with each bite you get a selection of ingredients. This is a good way for making very few ingredients go far. A bit of fresh tomato. I could sprinkle some herbs on the top. Now for my final bit of cheese. I'm now just going to pop these in a preheated oven on 180 degrees for about 10 minutes. Here's the pizza toast after 10 minutes in the oven. 